Hello everybody, um, just a quick video showing um, a paracord rifle sling I've made or as I'm using it as a, a bag strap to carry my water bottle. Um, the Colonel asked me to have a go at making one and before I did one for him I thought I'd have a bit of a practice and I came up with this. Um, I'll give you a closer look now in a minute but it's 50 feet uh, 50 inches of, um, of a strap, uh, 100 feet of power cord in all. And I'll just um, turn the camera off and I'll give you a closer look. Oh, yes, okay. Okay, back again. I know you can't see my head, but that's probably a bonus. Um, as I say, where should we begin? Um, is the side 50 inches of strap I've got these um, these um, clips came off an old strap they're not very good they're plastic so they probably wouldn't last long it'd be better to have a metal one but I started at this end and um, four strands I did a little video which I shall install put in the thing how I did it and as you can see we can see against my camouflage. Um, it's okay in place. It's a bit um, uneven, like by there. But it's just a bit of practice, and again, I'm sure I get that bit right. And it goes on and on. I don't know if you can see that clearly enough, but in certain certain places, it's a bit um, higher than others. But I wanted to make the strap as big as, as thick as possible for comfort and when I got to the bottom um, I just came back on top of the paracord just to make a thicker grip and I used up all the, the paracord so when I got it over my shoulder I can hold it there it gives me something to hold on to but um, really it was just to use up the paracord just to have a thicker piece there I'm filming in my um, room so it's hard to, to get me all in as well as anything else. I'm taking this um, water bottle on holiday with me. It's one of these Chinese copies of uh, Mac Physician type stuff. And I put on the side um, this holster, which uh, I got off uh, Dave from Colonel Chimp. Taking all the internal bits out so I can fill up full of stuff. And that'll be on the side. And I've got the usual um, stove inside there and a water bottle. Good things. And I'll use this because the, the, the strap it came with, which was um, around here somewhere, you know, this thing, it's all very well and good, but it's a bit short for me. I like it to be when I have it on my hip, further down by there. Rather than when I had that strap, it was sort of up there, which is uncomfortable. But if I had, you could connect it because it's got the molly on the back. But um, there you go. Um, not too bad for a first attempt. It'd probably be better for a rifle strap. On the downside, I would say the whole thing is quite heavy, the strap wise. And, um, well, I don't know. Let me know what you think. And there we go. 50 say 50 inches of of a strap which comes to a hundred feet of power cord unbroken there we go just a quick video as I say um, catch you on the next one okay this is not a very good angle but um, I'm making a strap for one of my water bottles and in, in um, cobra weave and instead of having just two strands in the middle I got four and I've tied this up into a bundle to make it easier to operate so instead of so you just pass a loop put this under there and pull it through and there you go you go thing rather than pulling feet and feet of it and again just make a big loop pass the whole thing through pull it out and away you go. This 
is going to be a 50 inch strap for a water bottle I have and I started with a hundred feet of power cord, camouflage power cord. So hopefully I won't run out of power cord. So the 15 inch, uh, 50, 50 inches, should I say, times four, plus the rest of it goes into making the weave. I wanted to make it um, four strands instead of two, so it's a bit more, a lot thicker than a, a normal um, power cord cobra weave. And uh, each time I want to pull out some more, just pull on this and get some more slack. So, a loop, pass it through, and away you go. A loop, pass it through. Of course, this is not showing up very well on the uh, on the camera, but you get the idea. So rather than having this loose, pulling it through, if you tie it into a little bundle, it's easier. Especially when you're doing a lot of got a lot of power cord going on. So. Okay, I'll bring you back in a minute. So. I'm coming down, getting down towards the end here, but as you can see, I've uh, messed it up a little bit. I didn't check that the, the cords were not twisted, so there's a bit of a twisting situation going on there, which is not good. But um, I don't think it'll matter too much, but I would like to have had um, them coming down straight all the way, you know, untwisted. You probably want it to all come down all the way, you won't see it. Um, so, and now the, the belt is, is so long that I'm running, I need to hang it in a different position. But as I say, it's very simple just a loop, get your bunch of power cord under, over, and pull. Which, now I've got the camera on, it's all twisting up horrible. Really, ideally, you could have this, uh, this end tied off as well to give a bit of tension when you're working, that would be easier. But um, it's just practice, really. Over the thing, pull it all through, and again, every so often, squeeze it up. Okay. But just like the zip pulls, just you're using a lot more power cord which can get tangled up. As you can see it uh, twists if you don't keep on twisting it, so to speak. So I shall uh, bring you back when And we get nearer the, well, we get to the finish line, I think. There's enough of this watching me do this. Even I'm getting bored. Now, I haven't done this all continuously in one go, but it's probably taken me less than a, probably an hour at the most to get down this far. I should have been a bit more, a little bit slower and took more care so I didn't have this twisty bit at the bottom. As I say, only for practice. <laughs> 